charge of last week. This light right here, we have 16 of these in the same Those are cinnamon ones? These are the cinnamon ones. Hi, Elizabeth. Right How are you? 93 pounds, right? 93 pounds. And you, did you do a, a commercial plan or your own plan? Because uh, we want to talk to people about the high loss bill. Well, I have my own way. Uh, and okay. that's what, it, what is it called? The that's banking. what you feel about it. The banking method. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of related to food to money? Yes, exactly. Like in other words, why don't we just see what you are? No, it's, it's not a problem. Try to register? I'm sorry, I thought it was a problem. What do you think we got here? It's not necessarily a problem. Okay. Just in case you're missing out on the high school. Five states since I lost the game. Uh, 30 seconds. How long is he going to lose the name? Three years. Okay. It's cheap. No, that's good. That should be good. That's not the way. My public dollar. Everybody. 10 seconds. Yes, I'm doing that. That's good. Yeah, I'm working on it. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Petruccione. That's good. <laughs> How do we pronounce it? Petruccione. 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 Because okay. of five. Okay. Yeah. So you have lost 93 pounds. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. <laughs> it's keeping it off that is the difficult part. You've developed your own weight loss program. And I love it because you equate it to money. And I've once heard that people relate to time, money, and space all the same way. And wait, you know, it's just like all that in our life we kind of treat the same, either from deprivation or overdoing it. So by relating the food and everything to money, you keep track of it, uh, like your calories, like you do your cash. Like you do your cash. And with me, I lot, I've saved $6,000 in the last four years by losing weight on medicine. Oh, okay, so the trade-off from the medicine that you would have been taking because of your weight is $6,000. Yes. Well, that's pretty incredible. So that's quite, uh, you don't get interest in like that. Can I ask you how long were you heavy? Were you heavy your whole life? My whole life. The whole time. My mother always said to me, you were born fat. You're, well, how great is that to hear? Yeah, right, and so you believe you could change it. Uh, yeah, never, I never thought I could change it. All right, so the system is called the banking plan? The banking method. The banking method, and you've actually come up with your own, your own, line of pita chips or tell us a little They're bit about chips. this. Well I'm a cracker and cheese and chip and dip girl and sometimes you know you have to find uh, alternatives and things that you really love because yeah. the thing about uh, the weight loss is what's more important losing the weight or keeping it off. Keeping, right? it, off. Yeah, Absolutely. keeping, keeping it, off. it off. And we also want to say that you know Elizabeth it took her three years to lose this weight. You don't gain 93 pounds in a year and you're not going to lose 93 pounds in a year which no. is very important. You will see slow and incremental weight loss like if you might lose a pound the next week you might say Flat and, and then that's it'll good. come off. That's good. It's a healthy way to do it. Yeah. In our classes, that's what I say. If you held the weight off that you lost last week, then it was a good week. So how does it work? Explain to me the relation to money. Well, what we do is I have a formula and I tell you how many calories you get for the week. Okay. And we make the deposit. Then as we please, a lot of people don't want to write down their food intake, but we like to say that you say two eggs, a piece of toast, that's like a chip. Okay. So you deduct it. At the end of the week, whatever you say is what you're going to lose. In terms of calories mm -hmm. per weight, so that's great. So, and I think it's very important to write. This is what my trainer says. He goes, he goes, how was your week? And I said, you know, well, it really wasn't that good. He goes, because you cheated. And I go, where did? He goes, where did you cheat? I said, I don't remember. He's like, write everything that goes into your mouth down. Because when you start having to write what you're going to do, because you will become accountable for it. And, and that doesn't mean, yeah. like, it doesn't mean changing that you can never enjoy. Because no, you can exactly. enjoy things. Right. But when you write things down, you're accountable. And then you've saved enough money to say, I deserve I to like, go well, buy that hot fudge Sunday. <laughs> well, we think, honestly, this is how we think. is during the week, you know there are week days that you're not that hungry. Yeah. So if you save your calories to the best of your ability all week for that wedding you're going to on Saturday, yeah. You can enjoy yourself and not think about right. it. And that's what's what that's real life. Can we try these? Yes. This is a cinnamon chip. This is cinnamon. Mm. These are chocolate. These are everything. Salt and pepper. Mm. Ranch. These are delicious. Where do we buy these? You can buy these at Caballos in Waterbury or Mountaintop uh, Chiropractic and Nutrition Center in Wilkins. And these right toppings now. are healthy? I'm oh yeah, they're what, all healthy. What are these? This is strawberries. Uh, Lena made these from Cavallo's, and that's applesauce, homemade. Apple sauce. 80 calories for 16 pieces. And that's very reasonable. Look at the size of the piece. It's like the size of a Dorito. Very natural, right? Stone ground, wheat flour, water, yeast, sugar, salt, and calcium. 
Well, not, whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> but essentially, if you can only a few ingredients and you can pronounce them all, that's good. Yeah, that's but good. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you're going to do this at home, you're going to buy these. Count the amount of chips that you have and then lock them away because once you eat one, yeah. I'm, I'm likely to eat 100 of these. Yeah. But that's you know, the 16, problem. That's, that's a lot of chips. That's not that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of chips and you're thinking that this is your treat at the night. At night and that's only 80 calories. So if you've got, you know, if your snack is budgeted for 200 calories, you can have a lot of chips. You can have a lot of chips. <laughs> and that's what I needed because, you know, I'm a volume eater. <laughs> you're a volume eater. Okay. When it comes to these chips, I might be a volume eater. <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk with my food. Is much Which one is your favorite? I've only been eating this so far, but I want the chocolate one next. Okay. Oprah, we know she's battled the polls, but we're seeing her in all different ways. Her shows this week are going off the air with Oprah. Can you believe it? So we're going back in time and taking a look at when she came to Connecticut. This is 1992? Yep. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. All right, we'll be back. Much better Connecticut. Stay with us.